Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. As always, thank you for joining me. If you could, hit that subscribe button down below and let's get right to it. Just a quick little update here is pretty much what's going on here. i got two stories to update for you. One fairly recent and one that I did on this channel a good long time ago. First off, Sharon's Law. I did a thing, a video over Sharon's Law, of course. That's a law being proposed here in Texas after the death of three-year-old Sharon Matthews at the hands of her adopted father. And they were talking about trying to impose a law that told parents basically that, that a kid under a certain age couldn't be left at home by themselves. And in the video, I made a discussion of what one of the people interviewed in a story at WFAA.com had said about people 9, 10, 11, 12 shouldn't be left alone in their homes when their parents aren't around. And I had a little problem with the kids, you know, especially when you get up to about 11, 12 years old, because I think kids at 11, 12 years old generally, in most circumstances, are able to take care of themselves. And so that was a bit of a problem that I had. But it was an, I was informed by a person who watched the video. Um, you, her YouTube channel is it's all about um, Chelsea, which I suggest you um, go subscribe. She does a, different videos, talks about different things, talks about her life, things like that. I went and looked, checked it out just a little bit ago myself. But she pointed out that the actual law that they're proposing is for five and under. And I completely support that idea. And thank you um, um, for pointing that out. I do my best to bring you the most accurate information I can. I try to do some research on stuff, but sometimes I get it wrong. Or sometimes the information I find just isn't completely correct. So thank you. It's all about Chelsea for pointing that out. And I can say that I completely support the idea because nobody under the age of five should be left alone. And I completely understand that concept. So thank you for pointing that out. And I'll try to do better next time, I suppose. And then the big story that I wanted to update here is something I brought you a long time ago. It's actually from one of my original videos. And that's the story of John Battaglia. John Battaglia of Dallas, Texas, uh, killed his two daughters and basically in cold blood back in 2001 in his Deep Ellum apartment. At the time, he was dealing with a divorce with his, um, his, his wife and custody hearings and stuff like that, I guess. And the man decided to call his wife and kill his daughters while he talked, while she was on, the, while his mother, their mother was on the phone listening. The man had had previous domestic violence stuff back in back in his first marriage, and then he went on, got married to the to the woman that he ended up getting divorced from and killing their daughters. Finally, the son of a bitch was put to, uh, put put down. State of Texas, we finally, you know, he, uh, we finally put you know executed the man, and John Battaglia no longer shares the same air that the rest of us do. This man murdered his own children in cold blood. There was no mental deficiency at the time of the murder. Maybe he had some problems after that, but it sure didn't happen before that because he was a, a rather successful accountant and he was a rather successful person and and he was a seemingly stable person up until the point that he murdered his children. But this man murdered his kids, like I said, and he's been trying to get out of out of his punishment, his the death penalty that he was handed down by by a court, you know, by a jury of his peers here in Texas years and years ago. He's tried everything from claiming he didn't do it, even though he's on the phone at the time it, it happens, you know, basically telling the mother this stuff. And at the execution, he was taunting the mother of these two de two children that he murdered. He's never taken responsibility for it. Not one time has John Battaglia taken responsibility for it. He's done interviews there again out of Dallas in Dallas, one of the news people um, news stations in Dallas did an interview with the man and he basically blamed everybody else that that 
you know, he blamed the media, he blamed his wife, he blamed his children, he, he blamed everybody but himself for the cold-blooded murder of those two little girls. So that son of a bitch is right where he belongs. I'm, I've changed a, a lot on the death penalty over the years, and I generally don't see it as the best thing in all cases. But if you're going to murder a child, that's where your ass belongs, on death row and put in the ground. That's where you belong. I'm sorry. If you agree with that, great. If you don't, I can't help you. That's just my opinion. Maybe it's because of where, how I was raised, where, I'm ra where I was raised here in Texas. Maybe that's just it. I don't know. I don't truly believe that the death penalty is the best option in all cases, but there are some cases that I think the death penalty is warranted. Killing a police officer, killing a child, things like that. You know, and there's no, you know, people are like, oh, but he could be innocent. Well, in this case, there's no he could be innocent. The man was guilty of sin, and he was found guilty by a jury of his peers because he was guilty. And he never took responsibility for it. So with that, I have to say that I'm glad the state of Texas was finally able to get this done. He's tried to get out of it so many times. Just last year, I think I did a video on it too. Just last year, he tried getting out out of it on saying he was mentally deficient. And, and I don't care what his mental state was last year. What I care about is what his mental state was in 2001 when he murdered his children. To the mother and ex-wife of this bastard, you know, and to the mother of those, two, of those two little girls, I am sorry for the pain you've gone through. I hope this can bring you some closure. And to know that he won't be getting out to hurt anybody else ever again. And I've got to say that that is good. That is a good thing. Now, the moment all the states decide that we're not going to have the death penalty, if they decide they want to have life without parole, that doesn't mean where you get out at some point, where they have actual life without parole, then I'll be fine to give up the death penalty on these cases. But for right now, that's what we got. And if you're going to murder a child, you belong on death row. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Hope you're having a great day. I'll see you down the road.